Hi everybody, welcome very much to the channel. Once again, we have today another casted game from the online ladder and today we have the top of the top of the ladder. We have Kiliardi around rank 15 playing in the color red as the Abbasid Dynasty. Somebody called call them the Trash Dynasty, but look, I think they're still good. You just have better options, but they're still good. Don't underestimate them. And then we have, in the color yellow, it's the best player in the world right now, at least in tournaments. It's Beastie in the color yellow, as I just said that, I know, playing in the brand new civilization that was also buffed recently, Order of the Dragon. And the map is one of my favorites, Cliffside. It's just like an open map with, with a lot of resources in your back. Sometimes the sacred sites, though, spawn like one here and another one there or there or there and then you just drop a keep there and it's, it's a whole messy game especially if you're against Delhi but usually it's a good map you can wall easily but then you can also go around easily just it's, it's a map you, you can do a lot of things but especially early game especially early game right guys it's very easy to attack your opponent because you're very short you're very um, close to each other so let's see that's one screen right one screen two two screens Three, yeah, you three screens and a half away from the enemy, so it's it's really short distance, right? Especially if you have the Japanese Bugashas, the English Longbows, the Eligazi Raiders, Knights. If you have, oh, the Order of the Dragon Horsemen, they can just really be very annoying in your face, right? Because the distance is very, very short. Order of the Dragon, just uh, going in. Avasi, just going in too. By the way, guys, if you enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe here on the YouTube channel. We have been growing a lot recently, so thank you very much for all the support. And Beastie also streams on Twitch. I also stream on Twitch, so check the links down below. Kill Yari, I don't think he streams on Twitch, but I will check it out. And if they do, the links will be in the description down below. Right? And uh, let's accelerate a little bit. Let's go into feudal. It's good old military wing strategy. You can actually perturb Order of the Dragon. Because they take more time to produce units. So they take more time to react to the military wing. To the two spears and two archers. But then one archer can kill everything, right? From the Order of the Dragon. Can kill everything from the Abbasid. But I think that gives them enough time to make one or two extra town centers. Let's see how that goes. Here we go. Beast reaches the Feudal Age. Military Wing completed. Kiliardi reaches the Feudal Age as well. Second TC is almost there. Or Beast, do we see a second TC as well? We see ranged defense. No, ranged arm. Yeah, ranged defense. Okay. Oh, oh damn. They're already there. And uh, barracks coming through, man at arms, and then with the golden cuirass. Oh, are you going to see a man at arms rush in feudal from Beastie? That can really catch a Bastid off guard. But it takes a while, it takes 27 seconds, almost the same time as a knight, to make those man at arms, right? So, let's see what happens here. First man at arms is out. But can it just be kited by the archers? They're actually not doing a lot of damage to the spear. How much damage? 14. Spear has 80 health and 0 armor. So you need like... More than 5. Yeah, 6. Yeah, you need 6 shots. 6 attacks to kill a spear. It's a lot still. Right. For such an expensive unit. But here we go. Second TC. We don't have a third TC. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That many times has no fear. Get him, boy. Yeah. Another one. Oh, the, the archer shoot a, a, a sheep. My mistake. <laughs> oh, the many times. Oh, no. Because of double TC fire. Sheesh! Golden Kiras coming in. I think that's that's how you pronounce it, right? I'm not a native English speaker, guys, so correct me if I'm wrong. 
That's another minute, Thanos. Okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the rush. The feudal rush. Yeah. Feudal minute arm. Here we go. We need more. There we go. More barracks. I actually went to the semi final of Louis Low Island, Low Yellow Legends, by doing this. I, I, I played another CV, but I don't remember which other CV it was. But doing the feudal minute. When Order of the Dragon was not buffed yet. So I went to the semi final. Okay, it's like middle bracket, platinum. Uh, and Diamond 1 players over there, so... Hey, still I did it! I did it. Never mind. Oh, Camel Archers! This can actually be very annoying for the Minute Arms. Because they do good base damage. Well, right, and they just run fast. Right, they just run fast. Well, Energy Tier 1 activated for the Abbasid. So, Villager Gathering Rate plus 15 for all resources. That's really good, actually. Plus Wheelbarrow, plus Horticulture, plus fresh foodstuffs. You're going to have a lot of food in the bank. But BC already with up to 4, soon to be 5 Man at Arms. And those are not normal Man at Arms, guys. Right? They are Gilded Man at Arms. They strong. They strong. Will be kill the villager? Beastie, I mean, kill the villager. Uh, but they are, they are already 10 villagers behind. So yeah, the economy from the Basid will be crazy. Yeah, I was just thinking with the latest siege changes, I think a Basid was indirectly buffed. Because it's now way harder to do feudal pushes, so it's way harder to kill the town centers, right? More man oh, I think Beastie is just donating men at arms. He's killing villagers though. But he got four villagers. He he lost a thousand and four hundred and forty resources. And he destroyed six yeah, this is not being good trades for Beastie, if you think about it. Oh, there's a lot of camel archers from Kiliardi. Those guys are expensive. 180 per Per, 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 per each one. And 60 wood. God damn it. That's like they're more expensive than an archer in wood. And they're more expensive than a knight in food. Wait, really? Dude, they're more expensive than knights, bro. But they, it's because of the debuff, right? I was reading on Reddit. People like, they did not understand why those units were so expensive. It's because they first they are ranged. And they counter melee infantry and they debuff cavalry. So they have a lot of power, like really a lot. And I would imagine that it costs more to maintain a, a, a camel than a horse, right? Right? Uh, okay, BC changing. He's realizing the Man at Arms rush is not working out. Especially against the Camel Archers, it will be even more difficult. Oh, they were on the board! Nice! I, like, as Order of the Dragon, going for the board is really, really good. Because you, your villagers collect faster. And if you go for several techniques, they will collect even faster. The board, right? Ooh, many times going down, but 7 villagers went down as well. Beastie is still 10 villagers behind. But it could, he could be 17. Villagers behind, right? But it's only 10. So, good work keeping the uh, economy from Kildiardi down. Kildiardi going for a, the good old 11 minute wheelbarrow. Not bad, not bad. Hey, Ahuti. I really like the HRD Order of the Dragon voice lines. Yeah. <laughs> a Valsid player going for. Ooh, look at that! Beer and there beer. <laughs> beer and berries. Be, be berries and deer. Beer and berries. That was a fun one. 
Yeah, what do we have a sieve that makes beer? His beard is a, an old product, right? Beer and wine. I mean, we have olive oil from the Byzantines. The Portuguese, bro, they, they're very known for making wine, but maybe the French are more known for making wine. But Portuguese has the best cheap wine. Cheap as in price, not as in quality, right? Okay, the, the strongest artist in the game by far. Then again, to party. Party, party, party. Uh oh, Beastie losing villagers on the walls. The camel archers, they come here to fight. All oh, the archers will melt, melt the camel archers, actually. Okay, he's, he's getting scattered. He's get, this is everything happening everywhere. This is not easy for both players. There we go, many times. Ooh, Beastie lost three villagers and first. Beastie does not have a second town center, and his villagers are more expensive, but most importantly, they take longer to produce. So, if he loses a villager, it's like Kildiard losing three villagers, because he has a second town center, you know what I'm saying? So, not looking good today. Today. Right now. Back to the beers and berries. Oh, they have actually to evacuate. Double tower coming in. This time was a joke, guys. This time I was joking with myself, I know. And the walls are completed by Beastie. Beastie killed 11 villagers. Oh, but they're almost 20. Oh, but yeah, that's true. You can, you can... True, true, true. You also... You have to think about that the villagers take longer to produce and they are better. So they are not... Beastie is not really 20 villagers behind. Right? Maybe they're like 10 villagers behind. Because I don't know how much better. I, because I don't think a Yord of the Dragon villager is two villagers. Normal villagers, but it's like 1.8, if I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure about those the math. Maybe maybe it's more than two villagers. Right? Because like late game Lord of the Dragon Eco is crazy. Here we go. Beastie trying to find angles to do damage. Kill there. There's no food. He's back on the deer and berries over there. He's walling off. Yeah, yeah. Beastie ran out of boar. He's not going to deer. And he has more deer over there. But archers can come here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The camel archer invasion is real. The Camel Archer invasion is real! We'll just, okay, there you go, they safe, they safe. Beast is, was taking more victims to his name. Oh, oh there we go! The Vils! Get the Vils! Man at arms were distracted, Archers. Point. Snipe. Yoink. Lush. There you go. Sound bites. From your boy Esso here on Esso Swim Pires. Oh, where are you going? What, what is he? Uh huh? Ah, he wants to do some sneaky things. He wants to do. Beastie wants to do some sneaky things. But the camel archers are still looming, looming around. What else? Oh, man at arms again on the duty, killing more villagers. Bro, look at all these towers. And they're getting all upgraded with arrow slits. And I, I mean, then late game, you can just make farms here, right? I was about to say that then it has less value because once the food is out, they are useless. But BC losing villagers on his own base. The camel riders, the camel um, archers, I mean. Oh, that they are to deal with. But at this point, they're just both attacking. Each other's villagers. And I think this is better for Kiliardi, even though Beastie killed more villagers. Kiliardi is on a second TC after all. Right. And he has cheaper villagers because of um, fresh foodstuffs. Now going for farms. They save. And then 
It's a 15 15 minute mark parent transition actually. Around the 15 minute mark I say. Okay, I sense a big fight approaching. Oh, but Kiliardi only has camel archers right now. If you take a direct engagement, they're gonna lose. Because they, they're against 13 really good archers from the guild archers. Oh, siege engineering coming through. Oh, we want to finish this now, or at least take down one town center. But, ah, uh, bro, making rams now is so bad. They die so easily, even for villagers, right? But especially for melee units, they just die so quickly. It's kind of annoying, actually. Alright, alright. Oh, there you go, Mo. That's, that's gonna be a huge, huge value here for Beastie, but uh, not a lot of villages going down. A good amount, a good amount. Golden Age tier 2 activated. So we have research speed plus 15, but in the end of Feudal, there is not much to research now. More villagers going down! That's huge! Nice, 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 nice. Beastie killed 30 villagers so far. But, you can see Kildiardi has doubled the destroyed value. But also, Beastie villagers collect more. Oh, two villagers just died. But Beastie's villagers collect faster as well, so... That's weird. When uh, you are playing against, or with, or casting Order of the Dragon, like reading these values and reading the in-game charts, it's not really accurate, right? Because their units are better, their units count by two here on the numbers as well. Um, the villagers take longer to produce, so you can't really say that like 20 villagers behind. It's, it's three numbers, but not in value, right? Nice shoot. Beastie is going crazy on the villager kills, but he lost eight as well. 30 C for Kilyardi! Uh, if he survives long enough, that's GG. There is no way BC's economy can keep up. But that's the question mark. Can he survive long enough? BC is not even mining all at this point. Oh, but Kildiard is, and he's mining a lot. But he still has all of that in his base. Oh, oh, the archers caught with the pants down. That ain't good. Only two archery ranges for Beastie. It takes 18 seconds to make an archer. We need more. Right. Now Kiliardi on three town centers. It's not looking good for Beastie. He's really behind. And Beast is gonna get 
even more behind because of the three three TC Abbasid dynasty. Pizzi needs a second town center. It's very hard to do that though. Right. At this point in the game. Till the 78 villagers. Pizzi on 46. Pizzi lost 11. Till the lost 36. But he can recover way easier because he has 3 TCs and cheaper villagers. Right. We have some spears in. Kill the Ard is oh, no, but he has already the camel archers, so they can they do more damage to the spears, right? Wait, do they? Yeah, they do, they do. Oh, this is villagers over there, out of position. Okay. One TC goes down. That's good. More villagers going down. This is Eco. Not slowly but surely transiting to farms. Ah, the walls were not finished. So some archers infiltrated. Oh, and that army will melt Beastie's army. He needs to be careful. Uh-oh. Beastie, be careful. Pull back the archers. That's it. Ah, oh, it's too many units. Beastie can't win this fight here. Yeah, he's gonna be obliterated. He's holding on for long. Nice. Uh, good value. He's killing a lot of units, though. But now it's the problem. It's remaking the army is the problem. Especially with only two archery ranges. Right? And the enemy still has a lot of units. Oh, bro, it's still going. What the hell? He killed a lot of units, if you think about it. Right? Beastie killed 43 villagers. <laughs> and destroyed the town center. Oh, but culture wing... Oh, I think Beastie uh, gives up when he sees a castle age from the enemy. Villagers here. Ah, bye. Bye, Vils. What a chaotic game, bro. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, but this is also going castle. Here we go. The Ragnitz Cathedral. Cathedral. Oh, a keep. Securing the gold for Kiliardi. That's really good. Yardi on 92 villagers. That's pretty goddamn good. And BC reaches a castle age. Kill Yardi too. There is a lot of relics for BC to grab. That's his way back into the game, actually. He's destroying production, reducing the amount of units that Kiliardi can make. Uh oh! Manganel shot! Oh, this can be huge. This can be so huge. 
actually hitting the man at arms. And the spear is not arches. And the rams go down. Real quickly. Yeah, BC, yeah, BC needs more production. Here we go. Especially because he didn't went into the Burgrave Palace. So he really needs more production. Alright, Kildyard is coming in, he's aggressive, he's tired of being raided over here and over there, he wants to put an end to this. Beastie doesn't have a lot of units and he has no way to do with the Manganel, that's gonna be the problem. No way to deal with the Manganel, we need a Springle. Oh, but Beastie has no gold, he needs to... No, he, ha he has gold. Ah, he, he was getting upgrades and maybe getting Prelates too. He grabbed one relic over there. BC lost, losing production here is really not good. Ay ay ay. He's grabbing another relic though. That's gonna be the third one. He needs a sprinkle urgently. He's making a key which will delay the enemy. Oh no, no, the, oh no, he needs four sprinkles at least. Minimum four sprinkles to deal with that with efficiency. Okay, here we go. Here we go. BC ran out of gold? No. Uh, Kiliardi did. Kiliardi ran out of gold. BC losing villagers. He now has relics in the Ragnits, which they have a lot of value. Oh, but he's losing so much production. He has only one barracks. That's it. That's it. Bro, there is no way he comes back. He has no way to make units. That's actually the thing that hurts the most Order of the Dragon. Losing production. Because your units take so much time to make... You need a lot of production. Right, 57. He's feeling bad for Beastie, bro. Feeling bad, bro. It's feeling bad. BC also getting sacred sites, but it doesn't matter how many resources you have if you cannot place them on the field, right? Uh oh, more villagers exposed. Two manganels, still, and still no. Oh no, there is a Springle in queue, right away. Ah, Beastie losing so many builds. That's really bad. Kiliarda did not rebuild the third arm center, but he's happy on two. Wait, wait. Did Beastie kill the second TC? I didn't realize that. What? My my bad, guys. Bad caster here. <laughs> <laughs> but this is 50 villagers behind, so maybe like 25, 30 villagers behind, not really 50. My bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh. Oh, no! The, don the donation! Thank you for donating a Springle, says Kiliardi. No, 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 the Springle is saved, the Springle is saved. Double Mangana shot! Huge! Prelate is there. 
is more prelates are there healing coming through ah and the no the mangarel is being healed so annoying good damage come on sprinkled come on come on ah he's still alive no beast is kind of winning the fight the mangarels can't oh but the ghoulams the ghoulams bro we see some crossbows there it was not a bad fight for Beastie, but it... <gasps> no way! Killyard is going Imperial! What? My floating 3k wood, by the way. Oh no, more villagers from Beastie going down! Ah, uh, because he went into agriculture. No, he doesn't have economical wing. What? What? Where the hell did... I mean, he killed 30... No, he killed now 35 villagers from Beastie. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't wonder. He's so much ahead. And he didn't make a lot of units if you think about it. Right? Gulams are not that expensive. It's only 100 food. And 30 gold? 40? 30. Uh, actually, 120. It's like a cash. I think cash are 60 gold though. And kill the army. It goes Imperial Age. And he has so many resources in the bank. That's one good thing about the Basid and the Ubit. Is when you are aging up, you don't need to use villagers. Right, so you can keep ga um, collecting resources to use immediately. And he can have cheaper cheaper or faster upgrades. Oh, I forgot, but he can have some way... He can have faster upgrades from here. Can he get cheaper upgrades? With uh, Culture Wing Preservation of Knowledge? I think so. Oh, we see the switch into Lance Connector. Beastie really needs something to pump his eco. I know he has three relics. So the RDS has two. The Beastie has like six relics, actually, if you think about it. But he needs he needs something else, guys. He needs another bonus. He needs another boost. Another ba boost. Kill the Ardy dropping more keeps. Gulam's chasing a trebuchet. Uh, okay. Imperial Gulams, or they can dive anything. Actually, they can they can just chill there. Hey, bro, no, I think kill the artist too much ahead. Going to Imperial Army tactics. Bloomery, wait, only only now plus one. I was like Bloomery. I was like, wait, that's like very familiar. That's like feudal age. Oh, he's floating. He's still floating a lot of wood. All right. Nice damage from the crossbow there. Manganel, Manganel, Manganel! GG gets called. BC says, I'm tired. Guys, if you enjoyed the match, leave a like and subscribe. Follow me and BC on Twitch, and I'll see you soon. Bye.